Hello everyone. This is Sunil from Informatica ActiveOS team. Today we will see how to configure ActiveOS Central Access when ActiveOS is installed in a JBoss application server. In the agenda of this session, we will have a quick introduction of what is ActiveOS Central and identity service, and then we will have a demo on configuring access to ActiveOS Central and ActiveOS XML-based identity service. ActiveOS Central is basically a browser-based application where end users can manage tasks, requests and reports. It can be accessed by the URL displayed in the screen. However, one needs to have a role that is the internal ActiveOS role AB task client to be assigned to that user to access ActiveOS Central. So what is an identity service? An identity service is basically a mechanism through which we can look up users and groups in an enterprise directory like a LDAP or a database or we can even uh, look up users from a XML or LDIF identity service. Let's have a quick demo on how to configure ActiveOS Central Access when installed in a JBoss application server. Version 7 or EAP servers. So the first step what we need to do is, is to configure a security domain in a JBoss EAP configuration file. So we will go to the JBoss EAP location, standalones, configuration and open the standalone full.xml. So we have to add this security domain in the standalone full.xml or domain.xml whichever configuration file you are using to start JBoss. So it's nothing just a application realm which we had configured and for container based authentication and authorization it will pick the users and roles from these files. We will see what these files are basically. This is the application user dot properties. It have already a user added named as admin with a password. We can add users in JBoss easily uh, by going to standalone bin and add user dot bat. It will ask you to enter the user and uh, user details like username, password, uh, where you want to uh, configure this user as an application user or a management user. We have to select application user, then it will add the entries in the application user dot properties file. Once the user is added, we can we can provide the mapping of user to a role uh, in add user dot bat script itself, or we can directly add the roles to that user through uh, inside this application role dot properties. So here I have added the mandatory AB task client and AB service consumer roles to the admin user. So these are the basic steps that we need to configure first. Now we will start the application server. I'm using the same standalone full.xml as an input to the standalone bat and I'm starting the JBoss server. Let me go to the deployments directory. So these ERs are in deploying state. Let's wait for this ER to be in a deployed state. So we can see the ERs and the ActiveOS Central war is in a deployed, direct, uh, deployed state. Now let's try to launch the ActiveOS Central. So this is the URL to access the ActiveOS Central. So we can see the UI is coming up. Let me try to log in with the admin user. Let me type in the password. So we can see the user is able to log into ActiveOS Central successfully. If we, we would have not configured the ActiveOS security domain in JBoss EAP server, then this user would not have been able to log into this ActiveOS Central. So we can see uh, currently this user is not able to access any task because there are no rules looked up for this particular user. For this we need to configure ActiveOS identity service now. So we will go to the console. Inside the console, we'll go to the identity service, link under admin tab. Here, I can select any one of these identity service type. Currently, I will select the XML type. This XML based identity service configuration is pretty simple. What we need to do is we just need to have an XML maintained, which have uh, entries like all the roles and a user map to these roles. 
so currently I have a uh, few additional roles here but uh, for a basic configuration you just need AB Taskland and AB Service Consumer to be added to this particular user so this is the tag which we need to add in that XML based identity service so let me copy the path of this identity service and go to the active auth console we need to provide the entire path so I can provide the name of the XML file okay so this much uh, just need to enable it and update it so the identity service I have configured let me test the user is looked up or not so when I click on that button uh, it's saying the test is successful that means the identity service of type XML is configured successfully now let me go to the central and log out let me log into the active auth central so you can see here all the rules and all those stakeholders administrator all the potential owners and stakeholders administrators all these rules are getting populated over here so if I select user I can see the task under this particular user so the identity service is required for looking up uh, task uh, for uh, looking up users and groups so that much configuration we need to co uh, to access active or central when configured on jboss eap application servers for exploring more on configuring central access to central and identity service in active OS url please refer info center link We would love to hear from you. You can write your comments for at support videos at the rate informatica dot com or you can reach us on Twitter th through Infa Support. Thanks for watching this uh, support knowledge based video.